Dave, well, whether it's meetings or mom stuff or both, sometimes there just is not enough time in the day for everything you need to get done. And on particularly busy mornings, things like makeup routines can fall by the wayside. But Kate and Aldona from Beauty by the Bee are here this morning with tips to make sure you look great but still get out the door fast. And as somebody who spends a great deal of time on my makeup every morning for this, on the weekends, I just don't want to. So this is yes, amazing. Exactly. So first, tell us about Beauty by the Bee. Fantastic. Thank you so much for having us this morning. Uh, we started Beauty by the Bee two and a half years ago. Um, and really, it was because we love beauty. We've been in the industry for a long time. And we wanted to work together. Um, and we added fashion to the mix. And we cover you know, products and trends and tips and tricks and just a variety of different things. And we also have a lot of services available through the website. Okay, and we are sort of teeing this up as a five-minute face. Uh, yep. We don't have quite that to get through it, but we assure you it can be done. So, uh, Kate, take us through on lovely Vanessa here. Yep. Um, where would you start? Concealer is super important. Yeah. Darkness, you want to cover that up quickly. Um, using a concealer uh, concealer stick yeah. and really focusing the product in the inner corner of the eye because that's where we have the most darkness. Mm -hmm. um, so just work the product through here, swipe it through the side, and then just blend it in very easily. And a brush. Could you use your finger? You can use your finger because that's, again, a little bit quicker. Yeah. So just blend that in. In terms of um, eye makeup, I would keep it very simple. Right. Um, I would do a mascara. And with mascara, I would just take the wand and zigzag. That way pumps more volume into your lashes. Ah, okay. But before the mascara, I would definitely curl the lashes. Because that adds a different dimension, right? I exactly. Mean... It just gives you more lift and it opens up the eye really nicely. And then really focusing on a liner, instead of doing like your typical black um, eyeliner, right. I would do something that's flesh colored right in the waterline just to really kind of open up the eye and just make it pop. So is that here? You can go ahead and, and, and do what you need to do here. Yeah. So just right in here, swipe it. Okay. And does that happen? That's post mascara. That's post mascara. That's post mascara. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So step one, concealer. Step two, mascara or curl. Curl. Mascara. Yeah. And the reason why you want to curl first is that when the mascara does dry, you don't want the lashes to break off. So you want to do that beforehand. Okay. And then your mascara and then zigzag. That way it pumps more volume. And then I would do the uh, flesh tone. I would use a flesh tone versus something white, um, just because that could be a little bit too dramatic. Yeah, that's very theatrical. You use it kind of <laughs> sometimes for TV, sometimes for theater, but that's a lot for every day. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then when uh, then what do you add? Do you have some dimension on on the cheeks or? Yes, color? absolutely. So this fantastic product, we love it. Nude Sticks is a company. They're relatively new, and they're available at Sephora. And they came out with this great product. It's dual, so it's for lips and cheeks. So you just dab it onto the cheek, and you just swipe it through and just blend it right in. Um, anytime you're doing your cheeks, make sure that you start off soft and then add product. It's so much easier to add versus to take something away. Right. And then, because it's the dual, you just flip it over, or you can use the same color. So you have the option right. of using the same color on oh. your cheeks or your lips, okay, that makes or it really you can just go right ahead and swap your colors, and you just dab it onto the lips. So this is super quick, really easy. You can just throw it into your makeup bag, and they actually come in these really fantastic little tins that have a little mirror as well. Oh, um, and they come with a sharpener. And so, as part of this, I mean, I guess you start with your normal beauty routine, whatever that is, a moisturizer underneath. Would you maybe, could you maybe use a tinted moisturizer? Yeah, or a baby cream a baby, is nice yeah. too, because it's kind of like your multi purpose product. You have your primer in there, moisturizer, and then obviously the tint, so that's really nice. And I know we don't have time to get to it um, visually here, but the brows. That's, I think that's a step that's really <laughs> key that a lot of people <laughs> neglect. Absolutely, and I think too, um, it just finishes off your makeup look, whether right. you do, you know, like a clear brow set or something that's tinted where it's going to add color. But go for something that's quite easy that you can just swipe through your eyebrow. Yeah, okay. we love Max actually. Oh, yeah, just I to throw that. that out there. Yeah, I use yeah, that as well. Product. Okay, all of these must-haves uh, contribute to the five-minute face, making it very easy. Beauty by the Bee. Kate and Aldona, thank you. We'll have links on our website to your site, breakfasttelevision.ca. Vanessa, thank you as well. Thank you very uh, we're going to check in with Mike Yanni at Central.